We received a question on LinkedIn by an experienced lease operator asking if we could do a video on valve seats, trims, and springs. This is a broad category that fits many different products and can be confusing because of the different terms used. In this video, we're gonna break it down and explain what a valve trim is in a regulator and a high pressure control valve. We'll cover the different terms, types, and materials for valve trim and springs so you can understand exactly what you need to get the job done right. Valve trim, sometimes called trim set or just trim, is a collection of critical components that control the flow of liquid and gas through a valve or regulator. Valve trim can be found in both regulators and high pressure control valves, but it comes in a variety of options that each look and behave differently. It is crucial to understand these options and ensure that you are using the right tool for the job. You'll see the trim options for Kimray regulators labeled a few different ways, but they're all referring to the same components. For example, on the website product search, trim is listed as size and type. Note that all regulator trim is equal percentage. We'll see more options here when we look at the high pressure control valves. Trim sizes are written in decimals on the website but you may see some options written as fractions on the catalog pages and in the installation and operations manual. It may look like a lot of choices, but each connection size only has two trim options. These two trim sizes are commonly called full port or reduced port. By using these names, you don't need to remember numerical values. On the code builder, you'll see this option called inner valve size and labeled F or R. On the product code, this is identified with a 5 after the letters, such as AAR5. These can also be swapped out to adapt to changing production volumes without the need to purchase a new regulator. The components that are swapped out vary per regulator size. For example, a 2-inch AAR trim includes a removable seat and a ratio plug. However, the 3-inch AAT includes a removable seat, valve stem, seat, seat disc, and ratio plug. We have a video and blog outlining how to complete this conversion process from full port to reduced port should you need to adjust your regulator for changing conditions. When ordering, you can specify your regulator for either standard or corrosive production. In corrosive configurations, all wetted parts are made from corrosion-resistant stainless steel. Cage-guided high-pressure control valve trim options are a little different from regulators. There are four types of trim, equal percentage, also called full port, reduced equal percentage, also called reduced port, quick opening, and modified equal percentage. Full port trim is designed so that an increment of change in stem position will produce an equal percentage of change in CV. This is the standard trim for cage guided valves. You may also see this on the catalog page written as inch size. For example, a two inch line size with a two inch inner valve size is equal percentage trim. A two inch line size with a one and a half inch inner valve size is reduced equal percentage. Reduced trim can be used to reduce the flow area while maintaining the line size connection. This may be something you'll install initially or retroactively as conditions change. Quick opening trim is used in dump applications to move fluid the moment the trim opens. It is only available in two and three inch valves because there is only a marginal gain from quick opening trim in the large six to 10 inch valves. The 8-inch and 10-inch cage-guided model also has an option for modified EP, or modified percentage trim. This trim is designed to achieve maximum flow at full open and precise control at the lower end. This may be useful for large suction control applications. Contact Kimray Product Support if you think this might apply to your operation. Cage-guided trim sets can be swapped out as site conditions change. We have complete plug assemblies listed on the tech specs page for each trim type. There are also four material options available for cage guided inner valve components for standard, corrosive, or erosive applications. 
These materials include D2 steel, S6, 17.4 pH, and zirconia. In a stem-guided high-pressure control valve, the trim set includes three components, the ball, stem, and seat. The ball and stem are connected as one piece. The stem is always the same diameter regardless of the diameter of the ball. There are a wide range of sizes, three different types and five different materials. That can look like a lot of options to figure out, but let's break it down so you can understand the difference. The size of trim is selected primarily by using our sizing calculator to calculate flow rates and volumes. Each trim size has a different CV value. See our sizing calculator video and CV video for more information on both of these topics. Each type of valve trim is characterized by the relationship between the percentage of flow and the percentage of valve stem travel. The differences here are not in the size of the ball, but in the design of the seat. Snap, also called quick opening, opens quickly and is used for on-off service. That is, the system goes from open to closed, or vice versa, instantly. Primary applications include liquid dump, metering, and high abrasive service. Nominal, also called linear, is used for throttling liquids in liquid level control, and in applications where water hammering has been an issue and where abrasive material is not present in the stream. Equal percentage is used to control pressure or flow of liquids and gases in throttling applications. It allows for precise control at high pressure drops throughout the valve's range of positions. In addition to the size and type of trim, there are also options for trim materials, standard, corrosive, erosive, and mixed duty, which is used for applications with both corrosive and erosive flow. Quick opening is only available in carbide. Carbide cannot be machined in a complex form like that of the seat. Instead, there is a single carbide ring on the seat, and the rest of the seat is made of D2 steel. The ball is also made of carbide, allowing the two materials to meet. Another important option for high pressure control valves is the actuator spring. This comes in five different pressure ratings, depending on your needs. The 30 pound spring comes standard in our three to 10 inch control valves, and the 20 pound spring is standard in our one and two inch. Other springs can be requested for the one and two inch control valves when ordering or retrofitting alternative springs. The actuator springs have a crack pressure or the pressure where they will begin to open the valve, and a full open pressure, where the valve has reached its maximum travel. The spring determines how much supply pressure is required to open or close the control valve, and what pressure it can open or close against when supply pressure is removed. Higher spring ranges are used for applications where high pressure drops are present. An example would be a two inch back pressure control valve package controlling 1200 PSI upstream and has only 200 PSI downstream. That's a 1000 PSI delta P. And depending on the trim size installed in the control valve, the force created can keep the valve from returning to its failed position. A heavier, stiffer spring is required to operate in this condition. The 45 pound spring would be a good option for this application. Lower spring ranges are used for low pressure applications or where high pressure control valve needs to be more sensitive to changes in supply pressure. A one inch high pressure control valve being used in a burner application is a good example of this. Using the 10 pound spring also allows you to use lower supply pressure in applications where 30 PSI may not be available to fully actuate the control valve. If you have questions about selecting or using any valve trim in your camera regulator or high pressure control valve, reach out to our product support team by phone, email, or chat today.